I'm going to turn the service back over in just a few moments, but before I do. Before I do, I'm going to have an altar service. Because the devil has played with you for too long, too many. The devil has played with your mind. He knows that he cannot get at your spirit. So he plays with your mind. To make you feel like you're worthless. But can I tell you something? Because of the blood. <laughs> because of the blood. I said because of the blood. John chapter 10 and verse 10 tells us the thief comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I have come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. I've got news for you tonight. If you're a child of God, if you're a child of God, I said, if you're a child of God, the devil can't play with you no more, honey. I said, the devil can't play with you no more. You need to tell the devil where to get off. You need to let him know that you are a conqueror. You need to let him know that you are a winner. Because of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Somebody shout praise. Come, 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 come. Jesus. I heal.
refuse to let a defeated enemy defeat us.
that's all time means. But I think it was yesterday the Lord spoke to me. And said to tell you this. The same words that Jesus used to Peter, actually. The devil desires to have you. That he might sift you as wheat. But he says to me to tell you that he has strengthened you. And he's going to give you what it takes to overcome. He sees your heart. Your heart is a broken heart. It's a broken heart. I want to tell you, congregation, if you've never been in ministry, you don't understand. The load that he's carrying. And now because in, in our neck of the woods, we would say the cat is out of the bag. And the devil has heard already what God is going to do here in this district. He's going to fight so much the harder, the devil that is. He's going to fight so much harder to take you down. But God said, hold on. Hold on. Because victory, you might not see it right now, with at least in the physical sense. You probably do see it in the spiritual sense. But in a physical sense, you don't see it. Sometimes when we look, we're all human. And so sometimes when we don't see something in the physical sense, it bothers us. And that's really where the devil wants to play with us. Because after all, if this was real, you wouldn't face this difficulty. If God was in this, you would not be troubled such. So God doesn't love you. God doesn't care about you, what happens to you. That's just what he wants you to believe. You see? And he wants to tear you down with it. The enemy, that is. But I've got good news for you. I'm sure you're going to stand with him in prayer. If you don't, I'm coming back to mysticity. you in your place. I, I've been in ministry now too long to mess around and let the devil mess with me. I'm into my 39th year. And I know what this burden is like. And I know what it's like to end up being taken from here into the hospital after preaching. Because of the burden being so hard. But you're not going to carry it alone. God said he's got his hand upon you. He's got a special anointing on your life. Nobody else can do what he has called you to do. Nobody. I used to often say, Lord, maybe a lot of other people can talk a whole lot better than I can. They sure can preach better than but God said, I've called you to do a work. And nobody can do what I've called you to do. His hand is upon you. In the name of Jesus. And somebody stand up on your feet and begin to praise the Lord. Come on. He has done great things here tonight. Stand up on your feet and give him a little praise. Go! 